música. Hello, uh, welcome to my 3 a music channel. Uh, this is MacBus series. Uh, this is my part nine tutorial of MacBus series. Uh, today I'm going to show you. I showed all the techniques in the previous tutorial in my app as well as in ZBrush. Today what I'm going to do, I went ahead and I finished my concept. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Uh, so this is what I have so far. So what I did was I borrowed some pieces in ZBrush in Maya as well. So I used uh, ZBrush for certain pieces and I used certain pieces in Maya because uh, to make my life easier. I also did uh, if you see uh, this piece has been repeated twice so uh, this piece also repeated like you know in several different ways so I also added visual noise as well as make it mechanical as possible uh, today I'm going to show how to detail it in Maya as well as ZBrush so in this part we're gonna uh, detail uh, this mech in Maya itself and I'm going to show certain techniques how to do that so let's start with this piece what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate this piece by mesh, separate, and I also have a short key for it, so I'm also going to merge it as well. So I'm going to hide it, everything else, because it's easier to work with it. Um, you could also, you know, do this as well, because we could mirror it on the other side, you know, as fast as possible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a panel line here. We could do two ways. I usually do, you could go in as a panel line, or else you can go out. I usually go out because it's easier, because we have a smoother mesh here, so I don't want to mess it up. Or else, if you have a, so let's say, so there you go, what I'm gonna do, so let's say eight. So I know my transformation value. So I'm gonna say smooth. So now you could literally, you could also smooth it one more if you want. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I just uh, up my subdivision. So now what you could do, you could literally go here, and you could go extrude it then you could add some panel lines so now if you see if you smooth this mesh it's gonna have a beautiful panel line boom there you go uh, we could do this way the other way i usually do is the same thing i just smooth once and i'm going to duplicate my mesh again and what i'm going to do i'm going to put my face mode and double click on it so it's going to select all the faces and i'm going to all shift and select again so it's going to deselect my other measures so what i'm going to do now i'm going to extrude out so now this panel is is this panel like coming out so you could see there are two variations so this is going in and this is going up so it's up to you you know whatever you feel like doing it just do it you know because uh it depends upon you know how you want to detail it i kind of prefer this way now because you know it since we have eye subdivisions, we have a smoother panel line, so that's what I wanted. You could also this way as well. So I'm going to delete all those pieces. I'm going to start here. So I'm going to say uh, uh, smooth. I uh, just uh, did once. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another um, edge loop there. So, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I don't know why my screen is this big. So I'm going to all the way make this small. So I'm just extruded in. So now if I smooth this mesh, you can see I have this you know nice panel line. So I'm gonna do it here as well. So I'm gonna create another edge loop. Oops. So you hold on shift, double click on it, so it's gonna select all the panel lines. So now if I go in now I have a panel line so there you go now if you see um, if you see there is kind of like some kind of things happening here because I went really deep so that's where it's happening so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Control Z I'm just gonna pull it in a little bit here so now if I smooth it you can see the panel line is really prominent and it's popping out so that's what I wanted um, so I, ca I can also add panel lines here as well um, so I'm gonna try here Now if I smooth it, you can see the panel line. So when the light hits, it's gonna pop up more. So we don't see it now, but it will uh, pop up when the light hits. So I'm also going to add one more panel line here as well because we add there. Um, so just go a little bit and if I smooth it, boom, there you go. So now I have panel lines um, 
in my geo. But if you see, since the mesh is not that good, it's not going to create a panel line uh, how I want it. So I'm not I'm not going to bother adding a panel line there. Uh, so now if you see, I detail this uh, geo and I'm going to bring back my geo to see how it looks like. So now if you see, if I, um, so I don't have that on the other side because uh, I just did it in my geo, but if you see the difference between this and this, it's going to be totally different. Um, if I smooth it, you could see it has panel line and it's gonna pick up the lights. We can also add some more um, details, like I'm going to show, I'm going to add some other detail here. It's kind of like some kind of cylinder popping out. Um, what I could do is, it's really, uh, this is a fun part, uh, uh, adding detail in my geo. Uh, uh, that's the thing I really like about doing it. Um, So what I'm going to do uh, here is this, since my um, uh, uh, panel lines is not straight, uh, this is gonna create a uh, different variation. So this is kind of straight. Now if I pull it in and smooth this mesh, and if I hit three, it's going to have the dot there. And that's what I wanted instead of uh, having irregular surfaces. Now if you see, it keep on adding details. Now I could add some loops there and it's gonna create a detail. But I'm not happy with the detail, so I'm just gonna, uh, going back, you could also try uh, bringing it up. So it's up to you. So now it also created like a, like a mechanical shape. So I kinda like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to create a supporting loop for it. So you go here, I added a, a bell edge. So now if I smooth it, it's going to have that look um, if it's smooth it boom there you go um, since I'm not happy with my uh, result so what I want to do I'm just going to get rid of that so it's kind of like going through you know whatever makes sense you could add the details and I'm not happy with the details there so I'm just going to get rid of it this is how I just go back um, back and forth with my concept uh, by adding details um, let's add some more details and some other parts and so I'm going to show adding details in this part now. Uh, we learned how to add uh, panel lines here. Uh, let's see how to create uh, different kind of inserts in uh, Geo. Uh, so what I'm going to do here. So here see we have a shape. Um, so I'm going to create an uh, insert. So go here. Select the faces you want to insert from. So now I'm going to insert that out and I'm going to scale it down. So when I smooth it now, you see uh, I literally created an insert really fast. So that's what I wanted. So if you want to make it really crisp, uh, you can also go and add some panel loops there. So I'm going to get this edge. Now if you see, it created a nice panel loop. So now if I go here, you see the difference between this and this. This is going to catch good, um, this is going to catch lights uh, in this, you know, grooves than that one. So I can also I can also go ahead, um, create uh, like a panel line here as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a bevel edge, and I'm going to do this. So now I could go here, the same concept. I'm going to do that. So just pull it up, and if I smooth it, boom, there you go. So you could also add uh, stuff like that. So that's going to um, do. So now you see uh, the difference between this and this. So that's what I wanted. So you could also create uh, uh, bolt, uh, bolt variations. So this is kind of like a, uh, this is square, but this isn't. And see the difference is, uh, it's not going to work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a bolt here just on one side to break the symmetry. So if I smooth this mesh, so it's going to have a bolt uh, bolt there um, since it doesn't have enough geometry it's just freaking out uh, so I'm just showing it as an example to do that so I'm going to also add like a edge loop there and edge loop here so we get a smoother transition 
Uh, we could also add um, several other details. So I could make this really interesting by um, going extra edge and go in and pull this. So I'm going to isolate my mesh because the extra starts from here. There is a G out there, so I'm going to delete these faces. So I'm going to go here. Before doing that, I'm going to add a loop in case you know if anything happens. And since my mesh doesn't have a good topology, it's going all the way around. So anyway, I'm just going to extrude and pull it in. So now I'm just going to go in and I W and go to component and I'm going to pull this mesh and out and I'm going to pull it in. Uh, so this would create a this would this will create a nice uh, uh, groove. You will see when I like as soon as if I hit smooth. So if you see here, so it kind of created a groove, uh, but it I went uh, too far in. So I'm going. What I'm going to do? Um, I'm just going to pull it up a little bit here and delete the spaces. And if I smooth it, boom, there you go. You can also add some more edges here to maintain that loop i'm going to do it because there is another edge there you go so now if you see we added um some more details in that one uh we could keep on adding details like that you know that's a really good thing about maya like if we go back you could see it's going to pick up a lot of lights from it um i'm going to add let's say some more details here um we could We could also add like uh, some simple mechanical stuff like that. This will pop out more uh, when the light hits. Like if you see, this already looks like a mechanical part, but just add an edge there, uh, just to make sure. So there you go, boom. So now if you see, it kind of looks like a mechanical part. And uh, so that's a good thing about Maya. Like, but the only, uh, uh, I, would, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, but, uh, it's uh, counterproductive uh, to detailing in Maya, but unless you have a good geo in Maya, uh, you could detail it away all day, all night. But sometimes I try to uh, keep my mesh perfect so that I could add details like this. So if, even if you see now, I added the detail, it kind of gave me a good result. Uh, since my topology is good, I could add like some loops to support it. Like that will catch like lights really pretty good. And, and I'm going to add details in this part in ZBrush. Um, let's see, you know, what else I could add. Uh, let's see, let's detail this part. So, um, it's already detailed pretty good. So, there's already insert. Uh, let's add like a... Um, uh, detail in it. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on one side because I don't have to worry about the other side. So I always work on one side so it's easier to do that way. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a shape so that will add some kind of stuff like that. So now I could go and make it cylindrical. So what this will do, this will create a shape. Uh, make sure you are looking on every angle to see how it's gonna create a shape. So now if I smooth it, there you go, boom. So now we add the shape and it, it gives like a good groove, like let's see, there you go. Um, see, I literally added some kind of like, a, I just broke the surface even further, just by adding detail. You could also add a loop there uh, to even make it more prominent boom there you go um, now uh, let's add uh, some more uh, details in it as well uh, so now what I'm going to do I'm going to add a detail it kind of looks like uh, it's kind of like a connection uh, so here and Let's isolate it so we could work past it. Um, the only thing to remember about Maya is like, 
you could add details in higher subdivision than a lower subdivision that's always advisable because it's easier that way so since there is some kind of so case it's easy to control in higher subdivision than lower subdivision that's how i always uh, um, see we kind of like broke the surface even further but there is some kind of like uh, So now I kind of like that shape. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to say extrude and fix the shape a little bit because I want uh, the shapes even good. All the way. So now if I smooth it, you can see we kind of created the shape. I kind of like the shape. So I also added another loop um, to flow better. And now if I smooth it, boom, there you go. So now if you see, um, it went from, uh, still I would go and fix the shape even further because um, it's not flowing properly. Uh, for demo purpose, I'm doing it fast because I want to give as much as information I can give it to you guys. Um, so now if I smooth it, boom, there you go. So now it's, it's not, it's not that bad, but still, uh, it break the surface even further. So that's what I wanted. Um, but there is some kind of like things happening there. So I'm going to pull this up. Boom. There you go. So even here you could like go and add some more details, um, here as well. So this will make the surface even further broken up. Uh, if I smooth it so pick your battles properly because now if I mirror on the other side by going on the object mode you will see this will take a shape uh, I'm merging it oops I merge the vertices now if you see uh, this took shape uh, really well now um see like we started somewhere because now it's going to uh, pick up lights you know and it's 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 gonna pop up more uh, sometimes what i do to experiment it so sometimes what i do um i just pick an edge and i go my component mode and i do this um, so what this will do it will create a shape like a mechanical shape then i'll add a loop there if I smooth this mesh now if you see that looks pretty cool you know I kind of like it so now you could do is you could even break this uh, it's about uh, finding shapes that looks cool uh, that's just all make about but you should have some kind of visual library because I did a lot of mechs so I kind of have some uh, visual library or else you could use references uh, that will help a lot. So now, now I could go this here. I could extrude in and pull it up. So now if I smooth this mesh, boom. So there you go. So now if you see, we kind of added this, you know, cool, sh cool looking shape. Um, I kind of like it, you know. So this is how you add a visual noise um, in Maya. Boom, so though, there you go. Uh, we kind of like added a bolt group there. So um, now it's going to read really good as a mechanical shape than before. Um, so you can see the difference between here and here. Uh, there is some panel lines and uh, I'm going to do one more uh, one more shape, then I'm going to call it a day. Then I'm going to show you how to detail it in ZBrush. Um, in ZBrush, it's really easier uh, than Maya. So this time we paneled, uh, the panel lines were inside, but for in this tutorial, I'm going to panel it out. Um, making sure how much thickness you have. The thickness looks 
pretty hard so there you go so now if i smooth this mesh boom there you go there's the panel line going around there um, even to make it really crisper if you add a like a loop there and loop at the bottom it's gonna pop up more um, you could see now your it's picking up the lights and um, we could also uh, uh, there's also another technique I use if I want to add some more details on top of this um, what I usually do is I use something called uh, duplicating surface I learned it uh, I just come across this technique just by uh, myself by doing a lot of modeling so what I do is I control D and shift I and I select this face and shift D select so this going to have a plane for me uh, from this point what I'm going to do I'm going to go here and delete the space, delete the space and uh, what else we can make this shape really interesting uh, what I'm going to do is so I'm thinking of cool shapes how to make this uh, mesh look cool um, but I'm making sure I'm not changing the plane let's do that uh, that's gonna break the shape um, you know what I'm going to delete that as well so now if you see we have something like that um, we could make this interesting by adding a loop here Mech is all about making your uh, gel look cool and make sure you don't have any uh, straight lines. I hate straight lines and your design doesn't look good, believe me. There you go. There you go. So I'm just trying to get rid of the straight lines. That's what I'm trying to do. And that's not bad, you know, I kind of like that shape. Um, um, let's uh, make it even further interesting. By having some insets. Boom, there you go. So now we have this uh, shape on top of our shape. What we could do is we could, uh, you know what? What I'm going to do? I'm gonna create kind of another plane. So, boom, there you go. And we could pull this in a little bit. So I'm gonna create a edge there. So now, if I go and extrude this and go in. Something happened here, but I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna pull it up because it's going in. Now, if I reverse this mesh, and have to smooth it so I am going to adding some loops So now if I go back, boom. So we added the shape uh, just by duplicating surfaces. So now if you see, uh, it, it broke the surface even further. So that's what I wanted. Uh, you could, you know, make it smaller or bigger and you could mirror it on the other side. Uh, so this is how I create, I you know, shapes from uh, duplicating surface. Um, sometimes I also use shape from here as well. And I create some kind of like a pattern to add some visual noise. So that's, that, will, that will make some shape like that. And you know, you, you have to add like panels and shit like that on it. Um, we could also make something like, like an inset. So now if you see, um, it added that shape. Uh, but make sure where you put it because you have to add a loop. Uh, that's why you know, ZBrush is really useful when you have iris mesh. Um, so I showed you to recap today we learned how to add panel lines and everything uh, we could also add bolt as well uh, bolt details but make sure when you add bolt uh, 
your mesh the mesh you are in it's a square shaped um, why it's square shaped because once I have this I uh, make sure you have a supporting loop like that then I go all the way in so now when I smooth this so it's gonna have the bold detail um, to exaggerate this so if you see most of my subdivisions are not in square if you see this is not square so this goes all the way here so i'm going for demonstration purposes um, um adding a supporting loop and going in and hit g go in see the difference between this and this this is looks like a bolt and this is, looks kind of like squashed or stretched um we could fix it by going here and going to component mode or going insert and following this edge and pull it in now if i smooth it boom there you go so now we have a, a bolt inset uh, you could also add some bolts after you added all those bolt bolt lines so now if you see uh, that will pop up more and it will catch the light as well and it will add some additional noise uh, that's it for today guys to recap what we learned today is we subdivided the mesh uh, subdivisions once or twice then we add our panel lines by going inserting in and we also learned how to create bolt make sure uh, the division you are creating an insert or extruding in uh, it's square so that you get a bolt shape and you could also um, add insert lines and you can also use extrusion technique to have some shapes from the shapes you already created and see this is uh, this took shape like in matter of seconds just by adding loops and just by extruding some of the surfaces and we also learned how to panel out it's the same technique using extrude and you can also add further uh, further uh, details by duplicating it and uh, keeping the original and deleting the faces and creating a shape on whatever you want and uh, so so the next tutorial I'm going to show how to detail in ZBrush and uh, um, Hope you guys like this tutorial if you guys like this tutorial please like subscribe and comment below and if you have any questions you can write me at 3 dmuser at gmail.com i will happy to um, answer your questions and if you have any questions regarding this model and i'll happy to go through it and until then you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next 